I um I got a little sunburn today. Yeah. Got a little sunburn. I was out yard sailing. And um yeah, it was really hot out. Oh, it's so bad. It's all right. It's all right. It'll turn into a tan. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm Sarah from Live Young and Wild, and this is how to put vegetables in a smoothie. Hey, do you suck at eating your vegetables? Because I do. And it, I mean, I like vegetables. I do, but it's just so hard to eat them because there's other things I want to eat more. Other things that taste better than vegetables. So vegetables are super important for you. So what I did is I put them in a smoothie and yes, it's green because there's vegetables in it. And yes, it tastes really good. So this is how I'm going to make it. All right, let's see what we got in the fridge. I'm gonna grab one egg. I like to do a raw egg. Um, these came from my parents' house, so I know that they're healthy. Um, let's see, cucumber, let's do some celery, and kiwi. Do one of those. Spinach. And we'll do some milk. Pineapple juice. Okay, so I'm using this um, Nutri Ninja blender. So it comes with a cup and then the detachable blades. So, um,. You know, I'm just making a single serving smoothie here. So I'm probably just gonna use one stalk of celery. Yeah, cucumber. All right, so we're gonna use one stalk of celery and probably just like I'm just gonna do like a handful so kind of about this much cucumber the slices are about that big and I got one two three four five of them first thing I'm gonna do is <laughs> I just dropped this egg and cracked it but um, the first thing I do if I use a raw egg I always put the raw egg in first and that's so that you can just check and make sure that the egg is good and um, make sure there's no blood spots sometimes there's blood spots in eggs but this one looks good all right so we got that and then we have our cucumber Ooh. well bear can have that one I'll cut one more slice. What do you think? Oh, he doesn't want it. Okay, so we got that. And then we're going to do our celery. Celery, we're going to use even the leaves. Because why not? And I just cut them up, you know, into pieces like that. Just so that the it's easier for the blender. Got that. And one stalk is plenty for a... A single serving. I might not even use this whole stock. Maybe I will. Just kidding, I will. All right, so I mean, that's like, that's almost a whole cup of vegetables. I've been trying to drink water, so I just carry around this humongous water bottle. delish okay so we have egg cucumber celery in there right now our other vegetable is going to be spinach so I usually just take like this much shove it in there okay we're pretty full right but this doesn't have much good flavor in it yet. So we're gonna add 
They are playing some tunes outside. I don't know if you can hear them. My neighbors. We're gonna add kiwi. And the skin of a kiwi is actually edible. So I know that most people don't like it because it's furry and that's weird. Um, so I usually just cut it off, but you really don't need to do that good of a job because it's all gonna get blended up anyway. And you won't even know it's there. But we'll cut most of it off. Cause why not? And then I just like to cut it up into sections so that it's easier to blend. And we're gonna use the whole kiwi. And that's really gonna help um, with the taste. Okay, I got raw honey. I'm gonna squirt a little bit of that in there. And then, um, and then we're gonna use milk. I like to use whole milk. So I'm just gonna do like this much milk. And then um, I have pineapple juice light. Just has um, less carbs in it. So that's always good. And then I'm pretty much right at my max fill line now. So that's what we got. Okay, so our ingredients are raw egg, uh, cucumber, kiwi, celery, spinach, honey, milk, and pineapple juice. So these are all things that, you know, you probably have maybe not the pineapple juice, but I feel like everything else is like everyday, um, everyday ingredients. And then this blender cup is really nice. And then it goes right in there and So see how fast that blended up? Now the chunks in this one are a little bit bigger than my Nutribullet, which I like a lot better, but this is what I got today, so that's what I'm gonna use. So it's nice and green. Let's see how it tastes. That's really good. It's a really like, um. It's a, it's a light flavor. It's not like a very strong flavor. A really light flavor. It's sweet. It doesn't taste like vegetables at all, even though it's got all these veggies in it. So this has got a cup of vegetables in it and you'd never even know. So this is um, about 250 calories. That would make a really good lunch. And it's, I mean, it's pretty big. Now, what I'm gonna do is put this in my blender bottle because see how it's kind of separating? So just put it in a blender bottle and then just shake it up when you wanna drink it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on how to put vegetables in your smoothie. Um, I hope that you're not scared to eat vegetables because they taste really good like this. So I hope you guys try it. Um, this was quick, easy. It's stuff that I already had in my house. I didn't like plan and go out and buy all this stuff. It's just like stuff I had laying around. You can substitute any one of these vegetables for other things. I even put broccoli in a smoothie. I'll put the video link to that in here. Um, and so, I mean, yeah, this, I mean like anything, anything that you want to put in a smoothie, you can figure out how to put it in there and make it taste good. So let me know what you think in the comments. I wanna know if you've tried this. I wanna know what vegetables you put in smoothies. Let me know and subscribe to my channel.